This video will cover difficult questions regarding the topic of factoring perfect square trinomials. The first question is this. This trinomial looks a little weird. It is not a perfect square trinomial. And it seems that neither cross method or decomposition can be used. But if I add x squared minus x squared, which would cancel each other out, then it can be rewritten as x to the power of 4, then x squared on an x squared, plus 2x squared, then plus 1, the last one minus x squared. Then group the first three terms, which is perfect square trinomial. Then we can factor x squared plus 1 squared, then minus x squared. The perfect square trinomial x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared plus 1, we can rewrite as x squared squared plus 2 times x squared plus 1, then use substitution, so x squared b a, so a squared plus 2a plus 1, so this is perfect square trinomial, a plus 1 squared, and go back to original, a was x squared, so x squared plus 1 squared, this one, here. Now, this form is the difference of squares. Use substitution again. Let x squared plus 1 be large b. So b squared minus x squared. So we can factor p plus x, b minus x. Then go back to the original. B was x squared plus 1. So x squared plus 1 plus x. x squared plus 1 minus x. You can finish in this state. But if you want to finish the shape more beautifully, you can arrange it in descending order. It looks a bit more mathematical. So x squared then x plus 1, x squared minus x plus 1. This is the final factored form. This is the next question. This trinomial will use the same technique as the problem we just factored. The first thing to think about is how to make this trinomial a perfect square. The first and last terms are already perfect squares. The point is the middle term. For this to be a perfect square, the middle term has to be 6 x squared y squared. So we need plus 4 x squared y squared and minus 4 x squared y squared to create 0. Then it becomes x to the power of 4. Then this one combined together plus 6x squared y squared plus 9y to the power of 4, then minus 4x squared y squared. Then you can factor this x squared plus 3y squared squared minus 2xy squared. And this form is the difference of squares. In case you don't know, I will show you a detailed explanation here. x to the power of 4 plus 6x squared y squared plus 9y to the power of 4. We can rewrite as x squared squared plus 6x squared y squared plus 9y squared squared. So let 
x squared b large a and y squared b large b. So this one is a squared plus 6ab plus 9b squared. So this is perfect square trinomials. a plus 3b squared. Then go back to the original. So a was x squared plus 3b was y squared. Then squared is the same here. You already know it is a squared minus b squared form. So this is a part plus b part. Then a part minus b part. I want to give the final touch on it. So change the order. Plus 2xy plus 3y squared. Then x squared. Change the order. Minus 2xy plus 3y squared. This is the final factored form. This is the next question. We have to make a perfect square trinomial. These two terms are already perfect square as first term and last term. So I want to put 4x squared as the middle term, then minus 4x squared to cancel it out and then change the order. So x to the power of 4, this one is middle term. So 4x squared, then last term, minus 4x squared, then group together. This is perfect square trinomial. And we can factor this one. x to the power of 4 plus 4x squared plus 4. So we can rewrite as x squared squared plus 4x squared plus 4. Then let x squared be large a. Then a squared plus 4, a plus 4. This is perfect square trinomial. So a plus 2 squared. And go back to the original. a was x squared. So x squared plus 2 squared. Then this one is x squared plus 2 squared minus 2x squared. So now this one is the difference of squares. And then this is a part squared minus b part squared. So a squared minus b squared equals a plus b, a minus b. So the factor the form is a part plus b part and then a part minus b part. And arrange it in descending order. So x squared plus 2x plus 2, x squared minus 2x plus 2. This is the final factored form. This is the last question. How can you make a perfect square trinomial? The point is the last term, which is 16. That's why the middle term may be 8x squared or minus 8x squared. But think about this. We have to make the perfect square trinomial and also the difference of squares. So the middle term must be 8x squared like this. Then make perfect squared because minus x squared and minus 8x squared combined together, minus 9x squared. 
which is perfect square. So we can factor inside the bracket so x to the power of 4 plus 8 x squared plus 16. Can you see this? So it will be x squared plus 4 squared. Let's check. So this one, x squared squared plus 8 x squared plus 16. And let x squared be large a. So a squared plus 8a plus 16. So factor the form is a plus 4 squared. And go back to the original. x squared plus 4 squared like this. And then this is also perfect squared form. So 3x squared. Now is the difference of squares. That means a squared b squared a squared minus b squared so a part plus b part and then a part minus b and then arrange it in the descending order so x squared plus 3x plus 4 x squared minus 3x plus 4. This is the final factor of the form. I hope this video has been helpful. This is the last of three videos covering factoring perfect square trinomials. Look at the polynomials playlist for previous videos. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.